So yesterday I took you guys along the build process for how I built my LEGO Guess Who Influencers Edition game for Brick World Chicago 2024. As you guys probably saw yesterday, I had a ton of fun building this and I'm very, very happy with how the final results turned out. After showing you guys though the build process of that mock, next up I decided it'd be pretty cool if I showed you in a little bit more detail the actual board game itself and of course explain how to play because there were a few questions about that. So of course here are the two boards here, one blue and one red, each built on 32 by 32 base plates containing 20 influencers each. I've also got the stack of all the cards here that you actually need to play the game, but a little bit more on that later. In terms of the actual players, who's on each board? Starting with the blue board here, I've got Josh Build Stuff, we've got Swole Bricks, Jeans Version, Girl Bricks A Lot, and Firebird Bricks. We've got the Blick Clicker, Mini Superheroes Today, Shy Time Is My Time, Ash and Flash, Cool Guy Dom, Just Too Good, Tiago, Life Bricks, Bricksar, Emmasaurus, Emily Builds It, Duck Bricks, a couple of Brickheads, myself, Brick Lover Brad, and MNR Productions. Over here on the red board, we do have Jay's Brick Blog, we've got Brad's Brick Post, Will Brick Productions, Solid Brick Studios, Maticus Bricks, Mike and Nike, Brick Science, Rob the Builder, Sacred Bricks, Ethan the Artisan, Danny Bob Studios, Jang Bricks, Stud City, Matt Mellish, Bricking Up Brad, TD Bricks, Beyond the Bricks, Holly on Film, Mr. Soros, and Brixy. I said in the last video as well, but man oh man was it ever hard to narrow down the 40 influencers to include on this game board here because there are so many talented people I wanted to include. Alright, so as you guys pretty much just saw from the rundown there, there are 40 influencers in total on this game, 20 on each board, and pretty much how the game works is that you take these player cards right here, I nicely laminated them and very very happy with how they look, there's 40 of them so they fall all over the place, but basically how you play is, is the person person with the blue board would pick a red card and the person with the red board would pick a blue card. The blue cards here mean that this player is actually found on the blue board and the red board means that they're found on the red board there. Normally in a game of guess who the players on each board would be the same but like I explained yesterday that would have only allowed me to include 20 influencers not 40 so that's why I've done it a little bit differently there. So then once the person with the red board has a blue card and the person with the blue board has a red card you can actually get started by playing the game. And as you guys can see here from the cards and from earlier there are a huge variety of lego influencers included so instead of just doing all the basic things like is your person a girl or is your person a boy or like does it have red hair brown hair whatever it is i figured the idea for this game would be to play it a little bit more fun and a little bit more challenging and kind of include some traits of those influencers so i'll pretend here that i am the blue player i've got my red card i would keep my card obviously a secret from the player i'm playing against i take a look and i know which lego influencer they have i kind of keep it good hopefully you're familiar with that influencer and then they would start asking me questions about their influencer. It is then up to each of us to go back and forth asking questions about our influencers and like I said the goal is to not make them very basic and like based on their appearance and stuff like that but more about their actual Lego influencer. So theoretically if I was playing the game I've got the blue board here I've got my list of 20 influencers that I could be. The person on the red has my influencer for game's sake we're going to pretend that they have Brixar. They have Brixar's card right here. I don't know they have Brixar's card so my goal is to take a look at the board and try and narrow it down. So I could be like, hmm, is my person primarily a YouTuber? Or are they a TikTok or Instagram like short form content creator? And then the person in the red would be like, yours is more of a YouTuber. So then I know that I could get rid of some of these people who primarily make content on Instagram and TikTok versus just YouTube. Then the person on the red would ask me questions about their person here. In this case, it is Holly on film. They could be like, does your person really like Lego Harry Potter? And I could be like, yes, they do. Or no, they don't. And then as it starts narrowing it down here, so I'll pretend I ask a few more questions. Like I could say, does my person primarily make Lego set review videos? And if they say yes, then I could go one, two, and just keep narrowing it down a little more. And then as it starts to get basic, I could be like, has my person been a Lego influencer since before COVID? And then I could go boom, boom, boom. All right, and it's still really starting to narrow down. I've got just a few players left. They obviously ask a question, and by this time, their board is a little bit more laid down as well. And then I could be like, is my person primarily a LEGO Star Wars content creator? No. Then I go boom, boom. And I'd be like, is my person Brixar? And lo and behold, I have successfully played the game 
of Guess Who Influencer Edition. So like I said, 40 different influencers to choose from. Obviously not everybody playing the game is gonna know every influencer. Maybe they're not gonna be able to answer every question about the influencer. So sometimes you might have to go a little bit basic, like is my person a boy, is my person a girl, just to like really help get things off. But theoretically, if people know the Lego influencers that are on this game, it could be really fun. I've played this game with my friends before with our friend group on the board, and it's like we ask questions about our friends and stuff like that, not just questions about based on appearance. Overall, you guys, as you can tell, not a very complicated game to play. It's more just for fun, and it is a pretty good time. Like I said, my friends and I have played this with ourselves before, pictures of us, and it's really fun, so I can only imagine that people would like to play this game as LEGO influencers as well, because it would be really cool to see you know, what kind of questions that you could possibly ask to like really narrow it down and to figure out who your influencer is on the other board. And I'm kind of hoping that I'll get to play with some of my friends at Brickworld Chicago. Like, it is a playable game, so it would be cool to play with people who really know LEGO influencers because then you could get a really fun game going and I think it'd be pretty cool. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course subscribe. Stay tuned for the future videos because I've got lots of cool things coming up. Thanks again so much for watching and have a great day.